felt like a dream, like one of those dreams where you're going to wake up and you're going to be like, all right, your dream's good. But I wasn't waking up. 29-year-old officer Juan Arroyo laced up his shoes and suited up for work one year after doctors worried he wouldn't make it through the night. It was emotional just because at one point I didn't think this day was going to come. These are photos he shared with us from that fateful night last January when a suspected drunk driver ran a stop sign and destroyed his patrol car. How did I make it out? He spent a week in the ICU, went through multiple surgeries and physical therapy. He even had to learn how to walk again. It was from a skull fracture to a fractured jaw, uh, fractured ribs, broken pelvis, had a compound fracture in my left arm and a broken tibia. But later he learned how to run again too, with some help from kids training for the 10K with a cop program. Good job. That's when I first met him, about nine months in his recovery process. It motivated me because it forced me to get off my chair when I didn't want to and run with him. A positive mindset, he says, helped him push through. I mean, we all go through down times in life. We can't hold it back. You know, we can't let our situation hold us back. And that was my mindset. I was like, I need to get better. I need to get back to work. I want to get back to work. I, I love what I do. And at the time, I didn't think my chapter was done. And Officer Arroyo tells us it all comes back to holding that thin blue line. While he was still recovering, Deputy Tony Hinestroza over at the Stanislaus County Sheriff's Department was killed in a crash as he was also working to get a suspected drunk driver off the roads. A month later, Arroyo lost his friend, Corporal Raniel Singh of the Newman Police Department, who was shot and killed in the line of duty. It didn't cross my mind like, hey, I should leave law enforcement because we owe it up to them to continue holding like they say, the, the thin blue line. We can't let those situations kind of scare us and keep us away from doing our job. He says he's read every letter, every post on social media using the hashtag thumbs up for Juan and got a lot of support from his identical twin brother Louise who also works for the same department to get to this point today. It just feels nice. It's like like the people say, you're riding a bicycle, you never truly forget how to ride a bicycle. And I mean, there's nothing else I'd rather be doing than police work. In Modesto, Lena Howland, ABC 10 News.